kingdom keys to personal success and prosperity. I'm going to give you four keys in these two sessions that I have applied to my life and I use them every day in order to accomplish personal success and how to experience kingdom prosperity. I'm going to focus on succeeding in times of crisis. How do you become successful when everybody else is crumbling around you? How do you make it through the system when the system has spat you out? What do you do when you are no longer needed by a company? What do you do when you lose your income? What do you do when nothing seems to work out and you're losing your car, your house, and your sanity? What do you do when there's not enough to take care of your daily obligations? How do you handle the crisis of life when life hits you on the blind side? You didn't expect things to go the way they went. What do you do when even friends abandon you and can't help you? Uh, when your company has to be shut down? Or when you lose a business? What do you do when there's so much pressing on you from creditors? How do you survive when you've been working on a job for 20, 30 years and then they lay you off? And now you're too old to even start a new skill. What do you do when the insurance company doesn't want to insure you anymore because they are assuming that your age doesn't benefit their policy principles. What do you do when sickness ravages your body and the bills of medical attention is eating away at your own family's legacy? What do you do when you get taking kids out of private school and put them in public school? What do you do when you have so much stress in your marriage because of financial problems that is causing you to have difficult times sleeping with your spouse. Crisis. Let's talk about crisis for a minute. I have a picture of here of a crisis. It's a hurricane. Americans call it a tornado. A hurricane is really a massive tornado. When a hurricane comes, we call it a crisis. Why is a hurricane a crisis? Why is a tornado a crisis? Why is a tsunami a crisis? Why is a snowstorm a crisis? The answer is because a crisis is really circumstances that occur that you have no control over and you didn't cause them. If you lost your job because they laid you off, you can't control that. If your company is not having the kind of customers or the clients have fallen off and you can't make enough money to keep things going. You have to shut it down. That's a crisis. You can't control people coming or not coming to patronize your company. What do you do? Well, a crisis is an institutional circumstances of either nature or the environment or the system that attacks your equilibrium. But there are some good things about a crisis. The world is in crisis right now. The economy of all the countries in the world seem to be under great turmoil. And in your nation and in the Bahamas here where I live, there's no different. People are having difficulty making it. But I come with good news today. I want you to follow me very carefully on what to do in the midst of that crisis. There's some things that you can do that are based on the kingdom system that will give you the success and the prosperity that you need in the midst of that crisis. A couple of things about crisis to write down. Number one, crisis is the incubator of creativity. Most of the time, we're not creative until something bad happens to us. When things fall apart, it makes us think outside the box. Secondly, crisis demands a new way of thinking about old problems. An old problem is you got to pay a mortgage. Problem is, the source of income that you used to pay it with has been dried up. But the old problem hasn't gone away. You still got to pay your mortgage. So what you got to do now is find a new way to generate income to pay the old problem. So crisis actually forces you to think about new ways to solve the old problems. 
Thirdly, crisis is an opportunity to improve and advance over old ideas. Sometimes the only way for you to move on is something to happen to push you. And many times we don't grow until we have to. So crisis comes many times to improve us because we've been stuck in a place too long. And number five, crisis comes also to produce growth. And it also produces a sense of development. It makes you develop new approaches to life. Crisis creates new opportunities. It's amazing when, when we uh, look at the world today, every progressive invention came out of a problem. And that's because crisis makes you develop and think in new ways. Number seven is very important. Crisis produces and manifests true leadership ability. No matter how much you would like to claim to be a leader, only crisis proves it. You are not really a leader in good times. Anybody can lead in good times. Leadership is tested and proven when there is a crisis environment. So crisis comes to test to see if you are as mature as you claim to be. You're telling people how good God has been. Let's see how good he is when things fall apart. You've been telling me how much faith you got. Well, let's see what kind of faith you have when there has to be situations where things don't look too good and you're not sure how you're gonna make it in the morning. In other words, crisis comes to test your leadership ability. Another uh, definition of crisis is that crisis ignites the passion for a renewed vision for your life. Crisis takes you back to what God told you from the beginning. Sometimes you stray away and God got to pull the rug from under you to get you back on the floor. And many times a crisis will take you back to the original idea that God told you from the beginning and it's called your original vision. This is one of the good things about a crisis. It takes you back to your passion. Now, I want to therefore talk a little bit about the benefits of crisis. There's a statement made by Shakespeare. You all know Shakespeare, the great playwright. Shakespeare said these words. I love it. He says, sweet are the uses of adversity. Say that with me. Sweet are the uses of adversity. That's a deep statement. In other words, he's telling us when things are adverse, when things are in crisis, don't panic. Use them. Use them for the positive result. Everything that happens to you could be used to produce something good. That's amazing. Everything. So Shakespeare caught on to something. He realized in his own thinking that adversity can be used to benefit the one under the adversity. The richest man, one of the richest men in America, his name is John Huntsman. John Huntsman is the founder of one of the largest companies in the United States, and they produce about 90% of all the plastics, forks, and spoons that you use in your house or at your parties. This company is the one, this is like the number one company in the world that produce plastic plates and, and plastic cups. This, this is the company here. It's owned by this man. His company fell into debt, and his company actually collapsed some years ago. And he went into a crisis mode and he went to the bank. The bank said they ain't loaning no more money. And his company went into bankruptcy. He went home and told his wife, I quit. I'm never going to start this company again. I'm going to go find me a job. It's over. His wife said to him, honey, you told me that this idea was given to you by God and that you going to build this and make it successful. You, that's why I married you. I believe you. Now, uh, if you're going to do this, go back and start again. He said his wife made him go back and ask another bank. He left the old bank. And he showed the bank the truth. He said, here's what I did in the last 15 years. Here's what happened. And I can start again. I know how to build a business. Will you trust me? And the bank says, I'll take a chance on you. He had no credibility, no assets, just a record that he built a company. The bank took a chance on him. And he began to start the company again. Today, the company is worth over $14 billion. 
He ran for the president of the United States during the time of Obama. If you remember this man's name, he's one of the candidates for the president of the United States. Billionaire. Here's what he said as a result of his crisis. I quote, if there is a silver lining to bad times, it is this. When facing severe challenges, your mind is normally at its sharpest.